Just tell Jake you changed your mind, okay? You can always adopt another baby. I never should have told you the truth. I knew you were gonna be a problem. I'm not the problem. Taking Amanda's baby, that's the problem. Deciding to raise Amanda's baby right under her father's nose, that's the problem. If you're so determined to go through with it, you should do it as far away as possible. Dad, I am not leaving Colby, all right? I am going to make this work. Uh, that's just so you, you know, oh, mistress of the universe thing. I can handle anything. Well, you know what? Mm. You can't handle this, and neither can Jake. Well, not if you open your mouth and blow this all to hell. I'm not going to do anything of sort. I'm not the only one you have to worry about. There is Jake. He loves Amanda, which means he wants Amanda happy, which means eventually he will do anything he has to to make it happen. And I'm not talking about extra desserts or foot massages. I'm talking about taking that baby and putting him right back in her arms. What do you mean, back in her arms? Amanda held the baby? You're just jealous that I have any in my life. Actually, Adam, I'm relieved. You are far too needy. Oh, you, you love the attention. You're only helping me now so you can sabotage my relationship with Annie. Adam, huh? Annie's main charm seemed to involve her dexterity with tire irons and knives. Any relationship with her will sabotage itself. Here's the dress, Mr. Chandler. Oh, yes, uh, thank you. It's a little dressy for lounging around the house in an ankle monitor, no? Well, actually, I'm, uh, I'm having a um, celebratory dinner for Annie. Really? Yes, tonight, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, and who exactly is attending this little soiree of yours? If you're free, I'd love it uh, if you could join us. Annie would love it, too. How can you say I'm more dangerous? I've worked so hard for so long to get better. I mean, I turned myself in. I've been cooperating with the police. I, I'm willing to accept my punishment. Which is easy for you to say now that you've conned Adam Chandler into buying your freedom. He's not buying me anything. Are you sure about that? Adam is my friend. Who are you going to work until you get what you want? And what you want is Emma. Have you not been listening to a thing I've been saying? I'm not ready to see Emma. When I am, it will be at your discretion. You know, you can play the sincerity with Adam if you want, but not with me. When you were out of control, I actually felt sorry for you. I, w I wanted to help you, but now that you're rational, I mean, look out. You're going to work Adam, you're going to work Eliza, you're going to work the system, but not me, Annie. Oh, dear, Ryan. This is how it started with me, too, the paranoia. I'm not paranoid. Yeah, that's what I said, too. But you have to be careful, Ryan. If the paranoia takes over, it'll... And over in your life. Here you go. Congratulations. If you want to come gamble again, give me a call. I know what you're doing. You think if you can make the DA's stupid little wife happy, I'll convince him to drop the charges against your wife. A couple of things. Number one, I don't think you're stupid, Madison. And number two, my wife is innocent. Henry wouldn't go after an innocent woman. He believes in justice. He believes in conviction in his career. He's a good man. No, he's not. You don't know him. I know what he did tonight. You deserve better. Perhaps you should worry about your own wife. I saw the caller ID on Henry's phone before. She was the last caller. The reason why he ran out of here. Why would your wife be setting up a private rendezvous with my husband? Friends with benefits. Political benefits. Guaranteed. Well, as generous as that offer is, you obviously haven't considered today's political climate. The voters don't tolerate that kind of relationship anymore. And since I'll need those voters to put me in the governor's seat, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to turn you down. Okay, well, there must be something that we can work out. Oh, there is. Take the plea or go to trial. All right, this is ridiculous. I didn't kill Stuart Chandler. There were tons of other people there that night with guns and motive. I, I don't understand. Why are you so dead set on, on, on putting me away for life when you, when you should be focused on the real killer? I'm looking at her. You're going to regret this. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I know exactly what I'm dealing with. I married one of you. The money, the family name, the connections, you think it makes you special, better, above the law? Well, it doesn't. And I'm not afraid to prove it. I'd love
love to have dinner with you and Annie. I assume I can bring a date. No, I uh, assume you were going to trot out your trusty lapdog, Jackson. Jackson is hardly a lapdog. Hmm. But actually, I do have someone else in mind. Somebody very entertaining in mind. A new beau? No, just a friend. I mean, I'll have to check with him, of course, but I'm sure he wouldn't miss this for the world. My paranoia, it started with Greenlee. I was convinced she was out to steal you, and it ate at me. It festered, and eventually it threw me over the edge. Please, Ryan, don't let that happen to you. <sighs> the paranoid ex-husband, huh? This is like a strategy that you worked out with Adam. Is it? Because it's not going to work. You can throw all the money, all the power at me that you want. None of it is going to work. You will not take my daughter. I can't believe that Jake let Amanda hold the baby. That was not part of the deal. He's not a deal. He's a baby. He's a little boy that Amanda fell in love with as she carried him to term. You would know that if you'd pull your head out of the throw pillow you got stuck in your pants. You don't understand. If she saw him, she looked into his eyes, she's going to know him. She's going to recognize him. Dad, she's going to want him back. Amanda. Amanda. I'm so sick of the lies. Jake, I, I'm tired of hearing that everything's going to be all right. That we'll get through it together and I'll get over it. The sun will come out and everything will be fine. It's not going to be fine, Jake. It can't. I held my baby. I know what he feels like. I know what he smells like. His eyes, when he looks at me, I'm never going to get to see him look at me again. I'm never going to get to hold him. So you tell me how anything's ever going to be all right anymore. All right, all right. My wife keeps a very busy schedule. If Henry's decided that your wife's guilty, a little secret meeting isn't going to make any difference. If she's smart, she'll take whatever deal my husband offered her. Can I ask you a question, Madison? What deal did he cut with you? to get you to marry him. Ouch. Hmm. Seems like someone has wife issues. Now I get what the added bonus is. If you put me away, it'll be like putting away your wife. Take the deal or don't, Mrs. Slater. Either way, you're going to prison. I look forward to that day.